Hello and welcome to our Databricks channel. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy Azure Databricks workspace within your virtual network, also known as VNet. There are three different deployment options available. The default option is Databricks Manage VNet. The second option is to create your own virtual network, also known as VNet Injection. I will be covering this in this video. Additionally, there are a couple other options within the customer managed VNet. First is the secure cluster connectivity. This allows the VNet to have no open ports and Databricks runtime cluster nodes to have no public IP addresses. I'll show you how to enable this feature. Private link is also available, which we'll cover in another video. The steps we'll take is first we'll create the VNet and then we'll create the workspace within the VNet and enable secure cluster connectivity at the workspace level. Let's get started. So here we are within the Azure portal. The first step we're going to take is to create a virtual network. So let's look for networking on the left. Let's click on create next to the virtual network. Here we'll specify the subscription. I'll create a new resource group where all the data, data bricks assets will reside. Within this, we'll, we'll specify now the network, um, virtual network name and the region. In my case, I'm going to pick central US. Now for the IP address space, um, this could vary depending on your needs and the IP addresses that you have available. So certainly uh, take a look at our documentation. We'll link on the bottom uh, with some steps on you know, kind of figuring out the, the, the address space and what's needed, but it could very well depend on your needs. Um, so in this case, I'll pick something that has 256 addresses. And then the next thing we'll do is to uh, add a subnet. So there are two subnets we need. One is a, a public subnet, so I'll call it that. So this way we know exactly which one is the public one. And uh, I'll specify the IP address range within the address space that we have. Second, we'll need another private subnet. And I'll specify the, the range as well. Um, as you can see, both of these range, I want to make sure that they don't overlap within the address space that I've specified. So once I add this, let's click on the next step, which is security. Um, and this, you know, I'll leave this as all disabled, but certainly depending on your needs, uh, this might vary. The last thing is the, the tags, and this also could vary uh, depending on your network policies and such. The last thing we want to do is review to make sure that this work, or virtual network passes the validation uh, and it does. So let's click on create and now we'll take about a few seconds to create this virtual network for us. So as you can see, the deployment is processed and it should complete soon. Now that we have the virtual network created, Let's create the Azure Databricks workspace. Let's click on Azure Databricks, click on Create, specify the subscription, we'll specify the resource group that we previously created. I'll enter in the workspace name, 14 Databricks. Let's select the region and a pricing tier. In this case, I'll big premium, but certainly take a look at our documentation for more details on various tiers that are available. As for the networking, um, the first option is that secure cluster connectivity, which we want to enable. So let's click on yes. And we also want to bring our own workspace, uh, virtual network for this particular workspace. So let's click on yes there as well. Select the worst virtual network we just created and specify the subnet name, uh, the, the public subnet that we created. So let me copy that in here. 
let me copy the IP address range for the public subnet and also now do the same for private. Um, as for the rest of the options, I'm going to keep them uh, as default. I'll also keep the default for the advanced options. And the next option is the tags. Once again, these tags might vary depending on your policies. And the last thing we want to do is uh, create review and create. So this will go through the validation process to make sure that the workspace looks good, the, the configuration of it, which it is. And now we can click on create. It will take about uh, a minute or so to create the workspace. Um, and once it does, um, well, we can go into the workspace. So I'm just going to quickly fast forward this video to get to that point. So as you can see, the deployment was successful. And the next step for us to do is go to the resource and let's open up the workspace. So here we are, we are within the workspace. Um, let me close out of this and you can see that we have successfully deployed the Azure Databricks workspace. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more how-to videos and tons of other Databricks content.